Just look at those stripes. Look at that little stripey rump. Oh my gosh. And the ossicones up front. You guys, I am so in love with our Okapi. Look at them. Look at them. Look at the way he moves. I mean, this is so fascinating. I really feel like when we watch these beautiful creatures, we are watching some of the mega fauna from history because these guys are the closest relative. Thank you, Reserved, for proving that you're also still, you know, an animal. That happens. Uh, but these guys are the closest living relative to giraffes. And there are so many species in the giraffe family who looked so much like this. Kind of a very, very fascinating and interesting cross between this sort of donkey looking creature and then this really long necked deer looking like creature and a little bit of a, some zebra striping going on down here though of course it's not zebra stripes it's just stripes based on the fact that you know they, they happen to uh, love living in the forest which we actually need to fix so guys welcome back hello hello somebody has just escaped <laughs> what <laughs> All right, well, hello everyone, and welcome back to our daily adventures here in Zudesia Zoo, where I have to say, after so long of doing this already, I am just so freaking proud about everything that we have accomplished. I can't believe we have been together while we have built this whole place from scratch, while we've had grand experiments like Wolf Mountain that completely blew up in our face, while we have started to add in new animal after new animal and learn so much about them while we have been at it. And basically, I'm just feeling really content and happy with our zoo today, even though we do apparently have <gasps> Lily! Lily! Lily, come on. Come on, Lily. If you, you, there's so much more room in here than what you think, my dear. So Lily's feeling a little bit overheated. We're going to go ahead and help out our panda. We can completely handle this. I am not worried. So Lily should be feeling better soon. It's such a pity she can't have any more babies because she did end up having two offspring for us, which was amazing. Good job, Lily. I don't think our other panda female actually had some babies, but you know what? We will go ahead and check on all of our panda population in a little bit. However, Timid, our Okapi, has escaped. She has escaped. She's a little bit alarmed about this whole caboodle, but I think it'll be okay. I think we just need to add in some better barriers over here. Um, like I might want to come in and add in a barrier down here, for example, and then maybe over here around like that. And then we can go ahead and we can put down some more rocks and that should prevent our lovely Okapi from escaping. But that is actually going to be our task for today, my friends, taking care of our lovely Okapi. And she should be like wiggling her way right back into her habitat in like two seconds. Oh, and the Okapi is too hot? What? No, her temperature is okay. <gasps> Ray the Timberwolf just had babies. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on, Okapi. Hang on. I need to go ahead and see what our beautiful gold starred timber wolf just had. <gasps> Three puppies? Three? Three? One, two, three? Ray, you amazing, wonderful, absolutely fantastic wolf you. You are bringing an entire new legacy to our timber wolves. I have hope now. Our timber wolves have suffered through so much. And with Ray, like, popping in here and Clark Kent and Ray... I mean, they're the perfect combination. And three babies? I have never had so many Timberwolves at once. This is amazing. There's even a baby with really good fertility and immunity. Why do these babies not live very long? Oh, all of their longevity is so low. That's so sad. That is so sad. But we have two females this time and one little male. And I think we actually will have an opportunity to go ahead and restart our timber wolf population based off of Ray, you amazing, beautiful girl, you. I have to give you guys a new exhibit too. Okay, guys, one second. I need to pull up some names for those pups. Whoa, where did the wolf pups go? And where did their habitat go? Nobody panic. Everything is fine. Everything is absolutely fine. We named the babies and then we had a long conversation together about how we should move them into the other habitat so that we, oh, habitat cleanliness is at disease risk. <gasps> For our, uh, the Japanese macaques. Okay, okay, okay. We need to definitely have this cleaned then. Uh, I wonder, call keeper. 
All right, we'll take care. We'll take care of that. We will take care of that indeed. Uh, but all right, guys. So don't panic. We actually had a very long conversation together about how we were going to move the wolf pups from over here to over here so that we could begin to expand into our temperate forest and uh, like bison plains section of our zoo. And also so that we could go ahead and put in a train, an adorable little train that could actually go like right over here. And I have that dream that I have told you guys about a few times now of having the train go up and behind the Okapi, maybe making a tunnel through here, but I think it'd be even prettier to actually have the train go up through the bamboo mountain behind Aat's temple and then come down over here so that people could ride the train to this side of the zoo and we could really start focusing on expanding it quite a bit. I think that would be absolutely amazing and tons of fun. So we're going to be working on that to help people get transport around the zoo. And just as we were having a good conversation about that, and we had begun to move the Cliffs of Soul and all of the other wolf stuff to over here. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and do this really quickly. But we had decided, you know what, let's put it right about here. Because this will be perfect to have like a little introductory wolf habitat. And if we need, is that low enough to the ground? I learned if you keep it too high up, you'll have the, the like cave of solitude that the puppies can climb into, as we learned with Clark Kent, our wolf. Uh, but we're gonna have it right over here. We're gonna leave a little gap back here. In fact, let's move this beautiful, beautiful tree, a Wimba tree. I like it, I like it. Absolutely beautiful, lots of leaves, I approve. And then we're going to leave enough space to put a keeper habitat and one rest station back here so that they can just stay and tend to the wolves and then eventually tend to the grizzly bears and the bison and everybody else we're going to add over here to you. Uh, and while we were doing that, then in just a second here, we're going to have Princess Yuki the second give birth. And when she gave birth, it crashed everything. So Princess Yuki, I hope this is going to be an easier pregnancy this time. We're already, you know, oh, look at how they actually added things to the feeder. Oh my gosh, Keeper Caitlin, I can't work anymore. I need to rest. Oh my gosh, Keeper Caitlin, where are you assigned to? Macaque Mountain? Okay, and she might need some, some training. So let's go ahead and give her some more training. And it sounds like she needs help then. So let's actually, maybe this was a sign where Princess Yuki II was like, hey, we need some attention in the macaque area. Come on. This is really, really not well. Uh, so let's see about getting a new keeper. There we go. And actually making this keeper one of you guys. So let me pull up that name list. As always, if you would like to join our adventures, then do be sure to, just, to subscribe for our daily adventures in our wonderful Zudasia Zoo. I love having you guys along with the journey. And if you want into becoming one of the characters, this lovely, lovely lady right here, for instance, or one of the animals, or have like a shop or a house full of bugs named after you, all you need to do is leave a comment down below and the uh, wonderful comment generator may pick you. But all right, so this is actually the Possum Adventurer. Welcome. We are going to name you Keeper Possum. Let's do Possum because that sounds freaking adorable. And you are going to be the uh, Macaque Keeper. There we go. We can't train her just yet, but she's going to work here at Macaque Mountain. And then we'll come back and try to train you up in a little bit. So there we go. Now we might have some help for Princess Yuki. And maybe the next birth that she has will go smoother and be less likely to crash on us. But just in case. Just in case, everyone take notes. Indeed. Need to fill out our reports uh, for the zoo, of course. All right. So let's come back over here. The Okapi definitely needs some TLC really quickly. Uh, we do, however, also need to get the wolves out of their quarantine. So let's grab all of these woofy things that we had. Ah, stop that map. Swing them all around so that they still have access to them. And the wolves aren't in quarantine. They're actually inside of the animal trading center. I know there's a difference, but in my heart, I just feel like, oh, the wolves are in quarantine and we need to get them out immediately or at least as quickly as possible. Um, am I going to have to move this so that my keeper has... Uh, access to things. I don't think the wolves have actually ever climbed up this. I've never seen them climb up it. So we should be okay there. 
Uh, I'll let the keeper maybe access it down here. That sounds like a better idea. All right, so let's come along. Make a nice little wooden barrier with a spot for the keeper to be able to access it. And then we'll replace these with some of the windows that people will be able to watch the wolves. Well, actually, if I'm gonna do that, I kinda wanna make it like a nice fancy curve. And the wolves, I don't think, are very shy. In fact, I think the Zoopedia, since we looked at... Let's actually come over. We looked at the Okapi, and honestly, all this time later, I had never noticed that in the Zoopedia... And hang in there, guys! Oh, we'll give you... Oh my gosh, the Okapi, the Okapi! They need attention too! Uh, maybe we should give the Okapi some attention first. That's probably the most important thing to do. All right. But, for instance, over here, it mentions relations to human shy. So if we come over to our timber wolves, will they care if people are watching them? Let's see. Timber wolf, timber wolf. Confident. So, honestly, I think a one-way window would kind of be lost on them for the most part. They're not like snow leopards. They're not like very shy Okapi. I don't think they care. So let's go for the cheaper window. <laughs> Alright, we'll make these longer sections of glass window that curves, please. There. So that people can come and watch the wolves. Because I don't feel like this needs to be... And we'll do six. Because I don't think this needs to be too terribly huge. After all of our experiments with the wolves, I feel like we've really learned some vital lessons in what they actually want and or need. And it's important not to let our imaginations run away with the reality of what they actually request. Because... We have gotten ourselves into quite a few pickles that way. I will let them go ahead and have like this whole little corner though. Because I think that would actually be kind of cute. There we go. Alright, there you go guys. We'll have a nice little wolf exhibit rebuilt. Get our wolves out. Need to take care of our okapi. Actually, if we do it like this big. Then our keeper can wiggle behind the back. No problem. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and get a habitat gate down. And then right back there, we'll be able to put a little keeper hunt. And he'll be able to just trot right in and take care of our triplet wolf pups. How exciting is that? In fact, let's come in. Keeper. Just a nice little, like... Oh, this is so cute! Oh, I've never had a chance to use the New World ones yet. I want to use these. This is so adorable. Oh my gosh. All right. And then we can actually keep it out. Haha, <laughs> no pun intended because it's a keeper hut. We can keep it out. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. That was just so cute. We'll move the Wimba tree over. And then let's have the staff hut. Little staff, staff, staff. There's a large staff room, new world staff room. <gasps> this is so cute! I can't believe people don't want to see that. Okay, and let's actually take a peek. Speaking of people not wanting to see it, it's far enough back. I don't, th nobody's going to care that it's back here. Nobody should care. And I actually love seeing some of them above the surface. In other locations, freaking nice to have all those other ones under the surface. We're, we're going to keep that up in a lot. No pun intended because it's Keeper Huts. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I love pun so much. All right, there we go. And let's do a path like so. That can come down this way. There. And that's far enough away. Even if people walk down here, they won't yell at me about it. And then we'll have just a little path this way. And then we'll have a larger path. Let's do eight. There we go. And let's actually do eight and let's have it snap along the barrier. Oh, glory day. About freaking time. Come on, snap to barrier. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your dedication little path doing your best doing your little pathy best 
All right, now this one's gonna be a little trickier. Let's come over here, there. And then, like so, almost there, almost there, almost there, you had it. Yay, all right. So there's that, and then we're just gonna have like this path branch off just right here. Eventually we'll probably redo all of this. <laughs> just FYI. Uh, but for now, for now, let's, length can't be any shorter. Maybe I can make a curve like this. That's pretty. It kind of has like a little organic look to it that way. All right, and then we'll come over here, dramatically shrink the path down a little bit. Well, I guess eventually we're gonna want this to be like a big path. I'm not sure how long we'll keep this here. There. All right. Huzzah! 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 Triplet wolf pups, you will have a place to be. Next up though, we do need to have the generators and man, those things are a little bit of a pain in the rump to put out. Um, but I should have, do I have the hearted, where are my hearted blueprints? Generator, generator, generator. New World Fountain, Pygmy Hippo, Asian Hut, Trade Center. What a cute little trade center. Um, why? Why, why? Do I never take it upon myself? To, here we go. Keep these things <laughs> appropriately saved. Uh, that's a kind of really cute power and water generator. I think we could probably make it, let's see. How do I get it? Like so, maybe? I mean, actually, I feel like I could get better power and water generators, um, but I don't want to fuss with it. I just don't want to fuss with it today. It's just, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling the fussing and we can always upgrade it in the future. You know what I mean? Oh, I had it saved under staff. No wonder I couldn't find it. <laughs> Siri, you are such a little goose sometimes. Do you know that? Like here's the big staff rooms. That's all, that's cool and all, but I just want a, wild dodo generators that's the one that i was trying to find and then here's the toilets and transformer uh but people hate being near the the transformer so that's not a good mix actually that's a very bad mix so you know what we're done we're done worrying about this let's see electricity and pump station i mean that one's nice and simple it just doesn't match the theme that we have going on back here I mean, this cute little transformer kind of works. Okay, that matches the theme perfectly! Yes! I knew I had something kind of fun. And then, let's put this down here. We're gonna need to have a wee path somewhere. We'll move, we'll move a couple of the huts around so that our mechanics will be able to reach this. But I love this because they look like adorable freaking little cabins. All right, and we'll go ahead and set this up. Turn it a little bit. Oh, it's so cute. Look at that new world look. I didn't know I was so in love with that, but I totally am. And then let's duplicate this because what I would like to do. Oh, geez, and we could even make it be up and just like put a bunch. Oh, that'd be so cute <laughs> to just have it be up and then uh, fill like a bunch of plants under it. I'm kind of going to do that. It looks a little bit wonky, but I kind of like it on stilts. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and remove the generator or the transformer out of this one. Gosh, you know, it's an interesting morning working in the zoo when you're like clapping your hands together with glee as you work on placing generators. <laughs> but even this becomes exciting as you figure out how to be able to make your very own theme and get it all working. And now we have like a water filter that's excellent. We can come in, replace it with like that cute little path. All right, let's figure out how to get you guys all connected over here. We're gonna have to move this even more, I think. So let's turn our cute path this way. Okapi, I promise I'm gonna help you. I promise. Oh geez, that's the problem. We need to like majorly shrink the width down there. 
All right, up and down. And we'll stop snapping to barriers. All right. You guys need to come and play nicely with everybody else now. Come along, come along. Oh, what should we call these guys? In fact, let's name the, the staff lounge after one of you guys. It's like a cute little cabin. I love that idea. I really love that idea. Okay. And we're gonna have this come down and around. And somehow connect with this path. Why is this so fun? I don't know, but we need to think of some cool cabin names. So I am gonna name what we're up to after one of y'all. Cause that would be so delightfully fun. Hmm, interesting, interesting. You know, if that's the case, then I mean, I can just make another little path. I don't mind. Stretch this one out some. And then, whoops. All right, let's move that again. And we can just turn this a tiny bit. I don't want it to get like too far away from our little goal here. Cause otherwise <laughs> my staff will complain of all things. Like the staff lounge is three extra steps now. Ugh, like they would just complain up a fit, but there we go. So a couple cute little cabiny house things with little slopes to get up to them. I love that. Let's actually replace like this instead of doing a staff path malformed park path no 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 i want you guys to be replaced because it's all adorable all right we'll we'll go ahead and leave that staff path actually because otherwise people might try to sneak back here but that's so cute i love those little houses that's adorable. I kind of want to make like a whole bunch of these little slopes as like a garden section back here and say we have like a little living garden. That'd be so cute. But all right, enough of how cute it is. Let's go ahead and add in more of you guys as our wonderful additions. Oh geez, and it's already gotten so late today. <laughs> That's okay, we built up a whole new area. We're gonna get our timber wolf keeper moved over. Wolf keeper Jennifer. She's gonna come over to her new work zone. Apparently she never had a work zone, so no wonder she never was over here taking care of our wolves. Whoops, my bad. And this is now going to be the wolf zone. And that will probably change over time. But let's go ahead. Wolves and Okapi are now just going to be uh, Okami Okapi. There we go. <laughs> All right, so let's get Wolf Keeper Jennifer over here at the wolf zone uh and she feels like she has a high workload and we're gonna have this guy be keeper cookie from little cookie thank you so much for joining us on our adventures little cookie i hope you are looking forward to be one being one of our keepers over here in the wolf zone there we go so they should take care of everything over here that should be just fine uh, and let's make sure that we have a mechanic as well. Do we have enough mechanics actually? How are my mechanics feeling? A lot of them feel like they have higher workloads. So let's get a new mechanic too. And this is going to be Loon. So this is mechanic Loon. There we go. And you guys are gonna have a really easy work zone at first. And then things are quickly, rapidly going to be changing. Also, I think that she's all gonna need like a station, maybe like a mechanic station actually. Uh, I don't think so, that's just for research. I want her to come over here and I want her to be in charge of repairing the heck out of this place every three months so that the wolves don't escape. Oh, and speaking of the wolves escaping, we should probably take care of this barrier. And you know what? We're in for a penny, in for a pound. So let's get these triplet wolf pups out and about today. All right, where's my Zoopedia? I'm sure there's like a short key to open the Zoopedia, but I haven't quite learned it just yet. All right, timber wolves. Let's see, what do you guys need for your habitat? 
climbing requirements, nothing. They need to be between negative eight and 29 Celsius. So we should make them a little mountain of snow. Oh, that'd be so cool. All right, we need 1,162 meters. This should be more than that. Significantly more than that, actually. Terrain, coverage, animals. I'm pretty sure there's, I, I know that there's like a size. Oh, here it is. Yeah, that's way more than they need. All right, uh, wolf walkway. So there we go. All right, so I think the biggest thing that we're gonna need to do is like chill more of this area and make sure that they can't jump out. It didn't really mention a height requirement, did it? For the wolves? Like, I don't want them to climb out. All right, Zupedia, help me out here. Timberwolf, let's get this done. We were we were sidetracked by the birth of wolf pups today, my friends, but that does indeed happen. Just grade two boundary requirement. It doesn't have like a height requirement or anything. Hmm. All right, let's try that out. I'm a little dubious. I think I would like the barrier to at least be, it's six feet high right now. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna try three or three meters around, you know, around nine feet. I think that should be fine. And then we wanna make sure it's climb proof on both sides. I, they can't climb and scale that, but I just feel more secure with all of that lined up. But all right, so now that that is done, let's go ahead and add back in our timber wolves. Clark Kent, Rhea, so exciting. So we're gonna move Clark Kent back in. And then we're going to go ahead and we are gonna move his mate Rhea, who is so beautiful. Look at her with those gold stars. She's just healthy across the board. And let me show you guys the new names for our three wolf pups. We have little Lana, Lana here, named after one of the characters in Superman. And so Lana is unfortunately not very long lived, but she is much larger, some of Clark Kent's genes there, than your average timber wolf. She is pretty fertile and she has pretty good immunity. Hopefully she'll not chew on any kryptonite. We should be fine. And then we have Dis uh, Dysnomia, which is a name that I fell in love with that is the name of a moon in our solar system. We have so many moons, more than just like Luna, our moon. It's, it's so fun to do a bunch of research about the different moons that are out there. I love it. And she also is not very long lived, but she is bigger than the average wolf. And she is pretty fertile and she has pretty good immunity genes. So we're gonna go ahead and move her in here. And then finally we have their brother, Titan. And he is a huge wolf who is very fertile and has great immunity, but he is only gonna live like a couple years. <laughs> So I think our next goal is going to be getting healthier, happier wolves. And also now that Clark Kent has been born and has led such a happy life, I think we're going to go ahead and we are going to release Pluto, his older brother, to the wild. I thought originally we were going to keep him for like breeding in our facility, but his brother ended up having much healthier genes for that. So we're going to do him and the world a favor and release Pluto. Ta -da! To the wild! Which is hard to do, but we needed to work on releasing animals to the wild anyway. So, yeah. All right, now that that is done, and we have rehomed the wolves, and I have once again made their area much too big, so we might have to have like a little wolf walkway so people can come and watch the wolf pups play and see them. And we have cleared the area so that we can actually open. And before Princess Yuki has her baby, we are totally saving. But we have cleared the area so that we can add in our train track while we wait for the wolves. Oh, I can't believe somebody did that. It's so rude. While we wait for the wolves to be able to be moved, let's go ahead and help out our Okapi. So they need some TLC as well. They need a larger area. So I actually think it'd be really fun to allow them to roam like right up next to the staff lounge. So I'm totally gonna let that happen. So, here we go. Yeah, I actually think having the Okapi roam through the edges of Panda Mountain is kind of amazing. 
So we're going to do that. And then we're also going to expand the size of the exhibit at the back pretty significantly. There we go. In fact, I want to just... We'll include this tree temporarily. I actually think I like... I think they like these huge uh, Wimba trees or whatever they're called. And we might have to shrink their habitat down just a teensy bit later to compensate for... Um, to compensate for the fact... There we go. Up and about. And I think that that's the spot where we... Okay, right down here. A couple more. There. There! That should still be all part of their their home. Yeah, look at that! So now we have Okapi Forest. Alright. Barrier status is good. The mechanic comes every three months to take care of it. And let's get our wolf pups in. Our little triplet wolf pups in. Well, yeah, now they're feeling happier when it comes to having enough space. So they feel really good on space. They need species, food, and toy enrichment. So let's throw down a few things even though it's dark. And I think our vet actually... Matril? Matril, you're hungry? Oh, she's taking care of that. Cupcake the pangolin is about to mature. Oh, I didn't even show you guys I have a new fountain for Wish or Flamingo. Oh, but we have gone on way too long today. So let me go ahead. I'm sure I saw some vet research that is now complete. Okay, yes, we have a little bit of vet research. I think Researcher Rose is so happy to have some new animals to research about. And then we're going to come over and get the Okapi. Hello, my beautifuls. Some food troughs. We're gonna get them some bedding. <gasps> they have this, oh, there's this cute little drinking fountain. Holy cow. I forgot I got that off of the blueprint area, but it is absolutely adorable. I really love it. Let's put this cute little drinking fountain at the base of the tree there. And then let's get a large food trough in here to, well, do they need a large one? We'll start with a medium food trough over here so that they feel like they have a secure spot to get some food. I like that it's out of sight of the guest. And then, ooh, they like these little rubbing things. We'll put it over here to try to encourage them to come a little closer to the guest. And then we'll come over here with the sprinkler. <laughs> That's so cute, the idea that they like playing with the sprinkler. Oh, 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 can't see a thing. Pitch black, but reserved. He's coming over to play with it. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, what else do we have going on? Offspring, left and right. Queen Cherry Blossom, the four-starred greater flamingo is expecting offspring. Oh, that's so exciting. And I hope, oh, it's raining for Okapi now. In fact, actually, I don't think they need the sprinkler at the moment because they're so happy with their, their little rubber, uh, little rubbing thingy. Um, how are the wolves? Oh, Queen Cherry Blossom is about to have her offspring too. Is somebody bringing my wolves over here? Oh, geez, guys. All right. There's just so much happening. We're going to have to go ahead and call it for now, my friends. There's pandas. There's cherry blossoms. There's beautiful scenic rain that I'm just falling.